If you've ever tried to display data from an Excel spreadsheet within your PowerPoint presentation, then there are several methods that you can use depending on your specific requirements. In this short tutorial, I'll cover four of the most common methods that I like to use, and hopefully by the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly which method will best suit your needs. Now, the first method we are going to cover is a standard copy and paste method that most users will probably be used to working with. So I'm gonna to go to a new slide here, and what I'm going to do is move across to my Excel spreadsheet that I already have open. I'm going to make a selection over the data, and then I'm gonna use Command and C on my Mac, or of course, Control C if you're a Windows user. You can also right click and use copy here. Now that we've copied the data, I'm gonna go back across to PowerPoint, and we're just going to simply use the Command V method, or Control V to paste. And you'll see that I will simply paste our data into the slide. Now what you'll notice here is it looks a little bit different from the original Excel spreadsheet. So if I go back to Excel, you'll see that we have this sort of green header along the top and we've got filters. In this case, everything is basically just white and black. Now what's actually happened here is instead of bringing in an Excel spreadsheet, it's basically just brought in a table. So we've got a table design option up here. So we can go in and customize things so we could grab all of the um, the top cells like this and we could apply a little bit of shading to try and change it. But essentially what's happening here is it's taken that data, built a table, and if we want to make any changes to this, so for example, if I come in here and say that this person is actually male, if I go back to the spreadsheet, you'll see that change hasn't been applied here. So there's no actual link between this spreadsheet and the data that we copied into PowerPoint. Likewise, if I came to here, and let's change the next one down to female, if I jump back into here, you'll see that this hasn't updated. So if you're using the standard copy and paste method, there is no link between your data and the um, PowerPoint presentation or the data that's displayed in there. It's basically just taking that data, copying it in, but there is no link. Let's now take a look at the second method, which is copy and paste as a picture. So again, I'm going to go back out to our Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to select all of these cells. I'm going to use Command C or Control C to copy. I'm going to come back into PowerPoint now. And what I'm going to do is where we've got this paste button up in the home tab, just to the right of it, you'll see there's a little drop down arrow, okay, a chevron. So I'm going to click on that. This gives us additional pasting options. And what I'm interested in in particular here is this paste as picture option. So when I select this option, you'll see that the data is pasted in. Now the visually, this looks a lot nicer than the standard table we saw before. And what's basically happened here is it's almost like it's taken a screenshot of the data. Now the slight difference here is whilst it looks better, if you try to click inside any of these cells within what looks like a table here, you can't and you can't make any changes. And that's because unlike the previous method when we pasted in, we could edit the data still, at least within the table in PowerPoint. Because this is essentially an image, it's just a screenshot of the data, so we can't actually make any changes to this. So what we would have to do is if we wanted to make changes, we would delete this, we'd come back into our spreadsheet, perhaps update the data here, and then what we would do is we'd make another selection, copy, we'd come back into here, we'd use the extra pasting option for paste as picture, and you'll see that change has been made just up here. So with this though, if we've brought it in as a picture, we can use the picture formatting options that appear up in this tab here. And you can do things like you could put it into a little frame, um, as well as that you could do things like apply a border so we can have different thickness of border and different colors. And of course, if you really wanted to, you could put like a little shadow around it. So because this acts now as a picture, we do get the picture formatting options, whereas here, we were given the table options, but it's still not quite great because when we bring it in this way, we can't make any changes. So this is probably best suited if you're not going to make any tweaks to the data and you just want to display it in a slightly nicer way, then bringing it in as a picture might work for you. 
Now the next method we're going to look at is the copy and paste embed method. So let's jump down to our next slide here. And the difference with this one is you can basically bring in the data from Excel, but it allows you over time to actually edit that data and it basically keeps a copy of the spreadsheet. So even if you were to delete the spreadsheet from your computer or pass this presentation to somebody else, because it's embedding it, you can always go in and make changes to the data. Now, to do this, what we do is we go to the um, spreadsheet here. I'm going to copy it all like we did before. So let's just copy it. I'm going to come back into our PowerPoint presentation. We're going to go to the Home tab, then the down pointing arrow next to the Pasting options, and we're going to use the Embed option here. And you'll see it has now pasted in this table. Now it doesn't look too dissimilar to this one here, which was the picture, but you'll notice when I click on this, it's actually got shape formatting options, which is different. So if I click in shape formatting, we get slightly different options here. Now you may think at this point you can click inside the cells and make changes. Unfortunately, you can't. However, what you can do is you can right click and you now have this option called worksheet object. If you click open, this will then open this worksheet in Excel and you can make changes in here. So for example, if I want to, let's delete all of this data here, we'll delete these three different rows, I'm going to press delete, come back in and you'll see that change has now been applied in here. So instead of editing the data for this particular data set within PowerPoint, what we do is we right click and choose worksheet object and open and then we can come back into here and we can make changes within this worksheet. Now the good thing in here, if I close it down, then if we come back into our spreadsheet within PowerPoint, you'll see that it still looks as it did before, but at any point I can right click, worksheet object open, and it will basically open up the Excel spreadsheet like it did before, and we can make changes. So it might be that I want to basically just delete these two rows here just to tidy things up and I'll do these three as well. And then you will see when we go back into PowerPoint, these changes will be reflected here. The only slight thing here is we've actually got some extra cells because when we initially copied it across, we copied over 20 or 21, and we've now deleted four or five. So you might need to tweak this slightly, maybe apply a little bit of cropping, but you can see that you've now got the option to actually work on the data. Now, if you're a Windows user, what you'll be able to do is when you use this method, you'll actually be able to just open up this spreadsheet from your desktop or wherever it was stored. And if you've brought it across, you'll be able to make changes. For Mac users like myself, it is slightly different. So it doesn't have a kind of live link to the original file, but because it's embedded it, you can always open up the worksheet using the right click worksheet object and open method. If you are a Windows user, you'll basically be able to locate the original spreadsheet and open it up that way and make changes. Doesn't quite work like that for Mac users, but it still at least allows you to have a nice looking data set and make changes to it as and when you need to. Now let's look at the very last method in this video, which is allowing you to create an Excel spreadsheet from within PowerPoint. So if you don't have a spreadsheet, but you want to create one there and then, how do you do that? Well, what you do is you click on your slide. So this is where I want this spreadsheet to go. And then I'm going to go up to the insert tab and we're going to go along to object. Now from in here, you'll see that you have different options to bring in different types of objects. And what we're interested in is this Microsoft Excel worksheet. Now, if you have an older version of Excel, you could open up one of these. We're gonna go for this one here and we're then going to click OK. At this point, what is going to happen is it's going to open up Excel and a new blank worksheet here. So let me just maximize this. And then from here, we could add in some data. So just to keep things simple, I'm actually just gonna copy and paste the data from this one here. But what we'll do is instead of having the headers, just so it looks a bit different, we'll copy this much. So I'm gonna cut to here, paste it in. And then what you will see is when we come back here, this data is now displayed on screen. So it works in a similar way to the previous method, but we've basically created from scratch. And within here, you can right click, worksheet object and open, 
and then you can always make changes to the data here. So again, if I need to delete anything, I can delete like this. And when we come back, those changes have been made. So this is ideal if you don't have the worksheet already set up in Excel, you can create the spreadsheet from within PowerPoint by simply going to the insert tab, then along to object, and then choosing the Microsoft Excel worksheet option. One final little thing just to show you as a little bonus, if you go into the insert option, then object, you can go to from file, and this allows you to select an existing Excel spreadsheet. So I'll click insert, but I'm going to click on display as icon. And then if I click OK, this will actually bring the data in but as a little Excel icon like this, which your users can double click on, and it will open up the Excel spreadsheet separately in Excel. So if you just want to almost create a quick link to a spreadsheet, you can use that method there. Now, hopefully you find this video to be useful. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and drop me a comment below to let me know which of these methods you think will suit you best. If you're interested in learning more about how to use PowerPoint effectively, why not check out this video that I think will be perfect for you.